Hello friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we have one very interesting question from exponential equations with different bases. We will solve for the real values of x. So let's get started. We have base 1 as root 25 plus root 24. And here we have base root 3 plus root 2. Let's check whether they are convertible bases or not. So I will calculate the value of root 3 plus root 2 whole square. Or we can check also square root of square root 25 plus square root 24. So let us apply a plus b whole square formula. I will write here root 3 square plus root 2 square plus 2 times root 3 times root 2. Root 3 square is 3 root 2 square is 2, 2 times root 3 times root 2. So I can write root 6 here. So value will be equal to 5 plus 2 square root 6. 5 we can write root 25, 2 we can write root 4, then we have root 6. So this is equal to square root 25 plus square root 24. Now we have one relationship between both the bases. Now I will consider square root both sides. So I can write, first I will write root 3 plus root 2 whole square is root 25 plus root 24. Consider square root both sides. So I can write root 3 plus root 2 will be a square root of or we can consider power half. So I will write square root 25 plus a square root 24 whole power half. And I can see that power half here. Let's write our equation in that form. So I will write our equation root 25 plus root 24 Power will be, I will write 1 over 2 times x over x plus 1 as we had 2 common in the denominator of exponent plus root 3 plus root 2. Power is 2, then we will write times x over x plus 1 equal to 20. Now we know the exponent law a power b times c. This is equal to a power b whole power c. Or we can consider a power c whole power b also. So I will use this property here and I will write a square root 25 plus a square root 24 whole power is half. And then we will put the complete power x over x plus 1 plus root 3 plus root 2 and then I will write power 2 times x over x plus 1 equal to 20. Now here we are going to write this is root 3 plus root 2. So I will write root 3 plus root 2 and then power is x over x plus 1. I will use this exponent law here. I will write root 3 plus root 2. Then I will put power x over x plus 1. And then we will write whole power 2 equal to 20. Now our substitution is clear. Let us say root 3 plus root 2 whole power x over x plus 1 equal to a. So for real x, a must be greater than 0. a cannot be 0, a cannot be negative. So our equation will become a plus a square equal to 20. a plus a square equal to 20. Let's write all the terms to LHS. I will write a square 
प्लस ए माइनस ट्वेंटी इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ दिस इज वन क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन वी कैन यूज मेथड ऑफ फैक्टराइजेशन एज वी कैन सी द फैक्टर्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी एज फाइव टाइम्स फोर and if i will subtract 4 from 5 i will be getting middle term coefficient 1 so i can split our middle term as 5a minus 4a minus 20 equal to 0 a is common from first two terms and minus 4 is common from last two terms equal to 0 so i can write a plus 5 Times a minus four equal to zero. Now we'll apply product zero rule. We can write either a plus five equal to zero or a minus four equal to zero. So a will be equal to negative five and a will be equal to four. Now condition on a was a positive. A cannot be negative or zero. So on this ground we will reject this solution. we are going to accept a equal to 4 now a was our substitution a was root 3 plus root 2 let me write here root 3 plus root 2 whole power is x over x plus 1 and rhs is 4 now we will consider log both sides so i will write log With base ten, it is log with base ten four. Now we know one log property: log a par b. This is equal to b log a. So this x over x plus one will be here. So I will write our equation: x over x plus one. Times log root three plus root two. This is equal to log four. Now we will divide both sides by log root three plus root two. So I will write here x over x plus one will be equal to log four over log of Root three plus root two. Now we will switch our numerator and denominator from both the sides to find the value of x. So I will write LHS as x plus one over x, which will be equal to x over x plus one over x, and RHS will be equal to log of root three plus root two in the numerator now. And log four we will get in the denominator. Now x over x will be one. So here we will cancel and write over there one. So I will write equation one over x plus one equal to log of root three plus root two over log four. Subtract one from both the sides. I will get the value of one over x. This will be equal to log of root three plus root two in the numerator, and we can write here with base four minus one. Now this one we can write log four with both base four. So we can write our equation one over x log of root three. Plus root two with base four minus log of four with base four. As we know, log a with base a is one. Now we know that log a minus log b. This is equal to log a over b. Let's apply this property to our RHS. I will get one over x will be equal to log. Root three plus root two over four with base four. Now we have to only flip, and we will get our final answer. So I will flip both sides, numerator and denominator. We'll get 
log of 4 with base root 3 plus root 2 over 4. So this is our final answer x equal to log of 4 with base root 3 plus root 2 over 4. If we will use calculator and we will try to find out the decimal value, then our answer will become negative 5.76. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and hype. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.